Hi, I'm Andrew Potochnik. Welcome to the One Minute Wood Turner. You ever seen one of these things called a captive ring and thought, gee, that must be so hard to do. But if you've got a couple of tools specifically designed for making captive rings, it's dead easy. I'll show you how. So to begin with, what I do is I use my parting tool and I part on either side of what is going to be the ring. So part down about 15 mils on either side. Then with my bowl gouge, which has been sharpened to a fingernail grind, I remove excess material on either side of what will be the ring. Once I've done that, I can then start with the actual tools that are designed for the captive rings. And this one in essence is a scraper, which has had this cove ground into the end, and it has two sharp points, one on either side, so you've got three cutting areas. You've got the cove itself and the two tips on either side. You simply push that into the wood until you've created a bead, for want of a better expression. And then by rocking the tool left to right, you start to create an undercut on either side of the ring. Once you've gone as far as you can, you then change to the second tool in the kit. And this in essence is just a skew, which again has the same radius cove ground into the end. And it has two sharp cutting edges. And this long tooth here enables you to cut underneath the ring, first from one side, then the other side. And then once you've gone far enough, you'll actually break straight through the wood and the ring is released. Then it's simply a matter of returning to, in my case, the bowl gouge and clearing away the wood behind the ring. And there you are. It's as simple as that. If you want more information, click on the links below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.